everybody, welcome back to the Relentless Pursuit of Shade. Gadget Girl here with a review of a new product for me today. So I wanna give you a little bit of backstory here about the impetus for this particular item. When we went to the Keys 100 and ran the Keys 100, um, I was keeping an eye on some of the people who were running the long distances themselves, whether it be the 50 mile or the 100 mile alone. If you watch our channel, you saw that we do it as a relay, a team of six people, but there were people who actually did the distances themselves. Um, Tommy has done it himself as well. And although now, although I had never thought I was going to run, had any interest in anything longer than a half marathon, I am now training for my first 50K, which is just so weird. So starting to think of some of the things that I might need for those longer distances. And some of those runners had these really cool vests and um, or shirts, whatever the things that they had that they were putting ice packs in. And on days like that, running down here in Florida, it's really important to stay cool. So, but they had, they had gear that allowed them to put ice packs in on their back and to keep them cool. And um, that was intriguing to me. So about a month ago, my husband and I were in Chicago walking the Magnificent Mile, which is a lot of high-end shopping, which doesn't tend to be our thing. We just, it was a rainy day and there was nothing really else to do. So we were walking up and down the Magnificent Mile and, um, and, and just trying to burn time and came across a North Face store. Now, North Face is not typically something, a place that I go to shop at. I used to, when I lived in Maine, it just, for me, just North Face is cold weather gear. So living in Florida, that hasn't been something that I've sought out here. So it was interesting that when we walked into the store that we found this flight race day vest eight. And um, I'll give it to my husband. He sometimes, he finds my gadgets a little overwhelming sometimes. I'm just grateful that he helps, uh, that he really works with me on finding the right things. And so we, we spent a little bit of time in the store taking a look at this. And then we sat down, we walked out of the store, we sat in the lobby, I think we were in the John Hancock building, we sat in the lobby and we pulled up a YouTube video review of the vest. And it was actually an earlier version of this particular vest. And it just, it hit a lot of the check marks that I really was um, interested in, in the possibility of a hydration vest. I like to run as minimalistically as I possibly can. I, I don't like running belts. I tend to have shorts on with pockets so that I can, can keep things in my pockets. I carry now the Nathan water bottle. Um, which I didn't like necessarily to begin with, and it has grown on me and now I have two of them. The idea of a vest was not, although I liked the things that it could do for a long run, I wasn't really excited about having yet another thing on my body. But in looking at this and watching the review, we decided to make the purchase and it wasn't a small one, I'll be honest. It was, um, it's $150. So it was, for me, that's a lot of money to spend on a piece of running gear. And that isn't my shoes. My, my sneakers I'll do all day long, but thinking about a hydration vest, it was challenging to spend that kind of money. I ran with it today for the first time and I don't hate it. <laughs> that's what Susan said. We <laughs> said, I don't hate it. <laughs> It's one of those things, I think it's kind of like the Nathan bottle. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to it, to get used to the feel of wearing the extra weight and I'm um, just having something else on me. So, but um, I'll, I'll let you know a little bit about it here. So, there it is. Um, one of the things that the other reviewer said about it was the one that he had was all black and he said that that was challenging because of how hot it was. Um, and even though it's got this really amazing um, breathable fabric, all the black was difficult. Well, they had one white one in my size, well, yeah, in small, um, in the store. 
so that you know helped with the purchasing decision <laughs> quite honestly so i was really happy that they had a white one which helps keep it cool so here on the back so one of the neat things on the back so there's this um, there's a catch here but um, when the catch is undone there's a big pocket in the back um now it can be used for hiking it can be used for all kinds of things so there's all kinds of stuff you could put in there but that's is so easy to put an ice pack in or a bag of ice or whatnot and then take it out easily there's also this great pocket in the back um i'm not sure what i would use it for but it when you are when it's on you it's really easy to reach to so depending on what it is that you're you putting back in there whether it be maybe another bottle of water or uh, you know, some some fuel, some food, some jerky or something that you may need. Um, it, it definitely would hold that in the back. So that's all in the back of it. It are these wonderful, um, I'm just gonna put it on because it's gonna be easier to show that way. Although it's still a little sticky from my run this morning. Um, these, these adjustable straps and they just click right in goes right around and you can tighten them or loosen them as needed, which um, was great. Now, it's funny, this is a small and I thought that was gonna be perfect. I probably, I, I might have actually gotten an extra small. I don't know, I, I, I'll explain why in a minute. But really stretchy, very breathable fabric. So that's really awesome. It has um, these great pockets in it for putting some additional, you know, putting your fuel or your, let's see, I've got salt tablets all left over from my run today. Oh, extra um, drip drop. <laughs> I don't think I have anything in the pockets over here, but there's extra pockets. And on this side, there's another pocket that they call the cell phone pocket. I probably wouldn't put mine there. Um, I, I think I've said it before, as a, as a breast cancer survivor, I don't tend to put my phone close to my body. So <laughs> up here, <laughs> legs, yes, but not so much up top. So, but a pocket, if somebody likes that, uh, could be used for a key pocket or whatnot. Um, there is on this side a whistle. So if you get lost or if you're being attacked, that's a great little extra feature to have. So. Um, but it holds two water bottles. Now, the original, um, there's one here and I have the other one out. It's still kind of filled. Um, the original review that we watched about this, one of the things that the gentleman said was um, in the earliest version of this particular pack, putting these bottles in this when they were full inside was a challenge. And the feature, they, they've made an upgrade to it since this version that I purchased, which is this neat little pool tab. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to do it on this side with a half water bottle. So um, if you've done this right, in, within that pocket, there's this little, little hook. And the hook goes on the bottom of the water bottle that is collapsed ones inside my Nathan handheld, which I really like. Um, this is brand, I haven't gotten used to it yet all the way, but once you've attached it, you should be able to pull on the tab and it helps put the what bring the water bottle into the packet. And it really does. I'll tell you if there was a challenge with it before, that helps without a doubt. So and then it can be tied in. Now, I, when I ran with it today, I drank right out of it. It was, you know, at, at a right height that I could get to it. I had water in one and I had um, a, my drip drop, my electrolyte water in the other side. And when we, um, when we got somewhere to where we keep a cooler to fill, I just filled it while it was on my body. Probably in a different environment, I would do that slightly differently. I I might take them out if I had a little more time to stop and take them, you know, take them out and redo them. I think probably for the for the big race, I might see if there's extra water bottles that I could purchase so that I could just swap them in and out. Because um, it would be it's it's easier. I think I haven't tried, and I I won't bore you all with that detail here to do it while it's on my body. But you probably could um, 
take it off and do it, but that just slows you down. So if you're trying to work on time or if you're dealing with time and you don't, and you don't want to take that time to stop and refill them, then um, you just have to get really good at being able to take them in, fill them and put them back down. So I guess that's it. So all in all, um, it, it's, it wicked. I, it wicked the moisture really well. Um, it was different for me to have something on the front of my body. And why I said that I might want an extra small is because it the water didn't, didn't squish around, which is one of the things I love about these particular water bottles. Once you drink, the, they just compress. So you're not, feel, you're not hearing sloshing, which I hate. But as I was running, it was moving. <laughs> So the vest was moving a little bit and no matter how I tightened it, there was a little bit of move. So I was hearing it. It was kind of cool at one point because it was in time with my cadence of the music that I was listening to. So it wasn't too horrible, but, um, but that's that. So the North Face Flight Series Vest. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Okay. Um, I won't run it, with, I won't wear it for every run. It is not that kind of awesome for me. Um, I'll still use my handheld for shorter runs, but for longer runs, the water lasted me the entire time. Actually, I probably didn't even need to refill. I would have had sufficient for the 10 mile run that we did today, but it was, um, I, I, I will definitely wear it again. And honestly, for the price point, if I don't, my husband will kill me. <laughs> so. Um, but I will, so we signed up for the North Face mailing list, which gave me, I think, 10% off, which was totally worth it. So that helped, that helped defray the cost of this particular vest. So that's it. That's today's review, Gadget Girl review of the North Face hydration vest. So I hope you all have a great day. If you want to see more of this stuff, please comment if there's something particular you'd like us to try out. Um, I'm willing to take a look at it. So have an awesome day. Happy running, everybody.